genetically modified spider shows up and is like, Hey, I'm looking for booty. Oh, oh, Parker, spread those butt cheeks. I'm gonna I'm have at you. I came looking for man's butt. And then, and then, <laughs> and then you know, he gets powers, yada, yada, yada. Psst, hey, you want some comic book art tips? I got five of them. I'm going to tell you in a second, as well as talk about Miles Morales. So stick around. <laughs> Okay, kiddos, buckle up. We're skipping the foreplay. We're going right into the tips. And first tip is perspective. Find your perspective. We're dealing with Spider-Man here or any spider character. They're going to be dynamic as all hell. And they're going to be swinging through some kind of skyscraper or skyline or whatever it is, building of some sort. Find your perspective. Me, I like one point perspective. One point perspective really, really forces your eye it really forces the pose into a foreshortening style of pose. I feel like it's it's really one of the most dynamic things you can do. For this, to be honest, I'm gonna be adding in a little bit of three-point perspective. I'm mostly focused on the singular point going back to the horizon. That's my goal. That's Those are the lines I'm gonna be focused on most, most heavily. Which will lead me to my second point, now that you see me doing a one point, well, well, it's really a three point with a slight fisheye, but who's counting? Now that I know my perspective leads me to my second tip. Tip number two, backgrounds. Backgrounds are incredibly important for comic book work. You know this, there's no way around it. I don't care how, I, how hard your eyes are rolling right now. You need to learn how to do backgrounds. Mostly because, guess what, man? As, as powerful as the character that you're drawing is, I don't care how great they are, you need a background. Superman is doing what? He's flying? How do you know he's flying? Guess what? The background. <laughs> His surroundings let you know that he's flying. Otherwise, your characters don't exist in a void. So for this one point perspective, you're going to find out why, why I'm using the lines that I am. Here's a spoiler alert. I'm using the specific lines that I am in order to sell what he's doing. He's jumping out at you, hence the one point perspective. I know technically it's three point with a little fish eye, but you get what I mean. All right, tip number three, specifically when drawing a character like Spider-Man, Daredevil, Nightcrawler, and that is make your pose extremely dynamic, even more so than a normal dynamic superhero pose. Wolverine, uh, Superman, Batman, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. Their pose is a nothing compared to a Spider-Man pose. A Spider-Man pose is so crazy that half the time it's not even anatomically correct if you even if you try you're not even gonna be able to find a reference for it sometimes because his pose is wacky sometimes sometimes spider-man's feet go up by his ears like when his knees are it's it's crazy i mean check out a todd mcfarland pose if you want to see some really wacky spider-man anatomy but it works it works because spider-man is larger than life his poses are crazy and extreme and he can sell them because of, you know his spiderness so it works. It works for Spidey. It can work for you. However, you got to push. Don't be afraid to push his anatomy to the absolute limit. Even if you even if you think it looked weird, go for it. Don't be a pussy and go for it. Okay, we talked about perspective. We talked about the background working for you in the image or the character in the image, the composition. We talked about choosing some really, really dynamic, extremely dynamic posing for Spider-Man. Fourth tip, don't be afraid to use reference. I know it's going to be tough to find a reference for a character in this wild of a pose, but it's out there, especially if you're a little shaky with the anatomy and especially if you're not too keen on background work. Do yourself a favor. Don't be too proud. Find your reference. I had to use a reference for this specific drawing. I'll be honest, man, I don't, I can't draw I can't draw a pair of Jordans. I can't draw a pair of Jordans from my memory. I just can't. I haven't drawn them that much. So guess what? I had to go out there, I had to find a reference. It's perfectly normal, it's perfectly okay. Don't let anybody shame you or make you feel bad for using references in your drawing. That's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Don't get too sucked into the reference. I know, I know, I know, I just told you to go out and use reference. There's a fine line between using reference to help you and having references become a crutch. That's just as bad, if not worse. You gotta find a sweet spot. And well, that's between you and your reference work. All right, this last tip isn't necessarily something that you could measure with a ruler or look up on Google Images. 
this one is a this one is a personal one from from me to you as the illustrator that you're becoming. I'm giving you permission to fuck up, have a little fun, and most importantly, forgive yourself. And that might sound a little frou-frou, but I'm I'm fucking serious, man. Too often, um, too often us artists, us illustrators, us creatives, we get so damn on ourselves about fucking things up and about things not looking right. And unfortunately, sometimes some of our work is going to fall short of our expectations, but that's okay. Guess what, man? Michael Jordan didn't make it every goddamn basket, but it didn't stop him from getting on the court. And it shouldn't stop you either. If you make a mistake, just let it go. It's more important that you finish what you're doing and then, you know what? Learn from the mistake and then move on to the next piece. You must keep moving forward. So that's my, that's my last and final tip and I would say it's just as important as the other ones. In this next part of the video, I'm gonna be breaking down the character of Miles Morales from soup to, soup to nuts? That sounds right to me. Stick around. <laughs> okay, let's talk about Miles Morales now. I have, I must admit, I have not played the newest iteration of uh, the Spider-Man video game on PS5. I don't have a PS5 because, well, fuck you scalpers and it's expensive. Uh, I'm actually probably going to play it this week. I do know his origin story from the first video game, which I did finish, as well as his origin story from the Ultimate Comics, his first appearance. And I've watched Into the Spider-Verse several times now. So, so I could talk about what I know about him in those three different iterations as far as his origin. And don't get me wrong, Spider-Man classic kind of guy myself, but that doesn't mean I can't appreciate the hell out of Miles Morales. Okay, so for the uninitiated, I'm going to break down a little bit of their backstory so you kind of know the difference between each one. It's sort of like the difference between Tom Holland versus, you know, his Spider-Man versus uh, Tobey Maguire's versus Andrew Garfield. There's some slight differences, but essentially it's pretty much the same thing. The, the ultimate version, he's a kid. Peter Parker is actually kind of a kid too. I think he's a teenager and he dies. He gets, he gets fucking shot or some, some, some shit, whatever. Miles is bitten by not a radioactive spider. It's like some other kind of scientifically modified spider, blah, blah, blah. Who cares, right? A fucking spider takes a bite out of his ass and then he gets powers. That's really all you need to know. I'm not going to tell you about every little itty bitty uh, piece of minutia. Spider, chomp, boom, butt cheek, not butt cheek, maybe butt cheek. Powers, powers, and then, uh, you know, he can go invisible and he can like do like a venom blast, whatever the fuck that is. It's pretty cool. Peter dies, kind of like in Into the Spider-Verse. We watch an older Peter Parker die, except in this, in the comic book version, he's younger. Miles feels a great responsibility and feels like if only I had been there, if I don't, if I only had actually chose to become a superhero beforehand, maybe I could have helped, yada, yada, yada. It's a very Uncle Ben moment. Pretty much, pretty much the same thing. His dad isn't a cop. His dad is like secretly working for S.H.I.E.L.D. I think of the comic books. In Spider-Verse, you know, his dad is a police officer. In the video game, it's the same thing, you know, freaking radioactive spider shows up, genetically modified spider shows up, and it's like, Came looking for booty. Oh, oh, Parker, spread those butt cheeks. I'm gonna I'm a have at you. I came looking for man's butt. And then, and then, <laughs> and then, you know, he gets powers, yada, yada, yada. In the video game version though, Miles' father is still a cop, like in like in Spider-Verse, but he dies on the job. Uh, he de he dies defending the city from a, from, I'm pretty sure from a supervillain. That is kind of what sends Miles on his journey, but the difference as to how he meets and befriends Spider-Man or Peter Parker in this case, is different from the other two versions. You know, Spider-Man doesn't seek him out and he doesn't seek out Spider-Man's family. In this version, because Peter is still alive, Peter and Miles become close friends. Um, in with the death of Miles' father, Miles finds a surrogate brother slash father figure in Peter Parker. They become friends, friends, family. And it's only after Miles is bitten that he reveals that he has spider powers. Only for Peter to reveal that he too has spider powers. In fact, he is Spider-Man. So it's this actual beautiful moment where it's not Miles telling uh, Spider-Man that he's he has the same power. It's it's Miles telling his brother. You know, it's Miles kind of sharing this this heavy burden with somebody who he, he trusts implicitly, only to find out that this person who he holds near and dear isn't just his family. He's also Spider-Man. 
So it's just, it's a really, really, really beautiful touching moment. Matter of fact, I mean, it's a spoiler, but I couldn't recommend that game more. The writing in that game is fucking incredible. I want to talk about what you think and what I think the MCU version of Miles means. Oh, here's a little, here's a little spoiler. They've alluded to Miles Morales being in the, the fucking MCU. The MCU as we know it, Miles is there. We just don't know. We just don't know where he is. We know his Uncle Aaron. His Uncle Aaron has been on screen played by uh, Donald Glover, but that's it. Disney has told us that he's there, but they haven't told us anything else. And I'm going to sound like a broken record here. I got to talk about the multiverse. <laughs> I feel like I've talked about the multiverse every fucking video, but when it comes to speculation as to what's going to happen in the MCU, you can't ignore it. It means anything is possible. And when it comes to the MCU, we could literally see Donald Glover playing Miles Morales, playing an older Miles Morales. Think about it. If they are, if the rumors are true and they're bringing back Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire, you know, hypothetically, Miles can exist in their universes as well. So we could get an older Miles Morales, a Miles Morales who's maybe in his late 20s, early 30s, who's been at it for quite some time now. We could have a kid. I think somebody was fan casting the kid from Stranger Things. That little dude. I could see that too. Really, the possibilities are endless as to what Miles we may get. Needless to say, he's a solid character, and I can't wait to see him on the big screen. Thank you for making it to the end. Huge thank you to my Patreon subscribers, as well as everybody who's been liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. You guys are the best. I almost cursed again. I did not do it, though, unlike the video where I dropped like 10 F-bombs. If you want to catch me, I'm live on Twitch, one, two, three, four days a week, as well as Instagram. I post there every day, as well as my Discord channel. Links in the description if you want to hang out some. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.